Alright, welcome to Sashiko Live Streaming. This is Atsushi. I am back. Thank you so much for waiting. Almost three weeks, not a th almost, three weeks indeed. Almost a month. I appreciate you waiting for me. Um, I hope I can start, I can restart doing the live streaming. Let me check the audio first. Okay, perfect. Oof. Um, tons of updates, but I don't know where to start. So... I will start stitching and then we'll share some of those. It's gonna take some live streaming to share what's going on, but... <laughs> you like my haircut? Well, it was much, much shorter. Anyway, um, this is the live streaming, the Sashiko live streaming where I stitch Sashiko and then talk about Sashiko. So if you could bring some of your stuff to stitch, it doesn't have to be Sashiko, but um, that'd be great. There's nothing going on. So it is not a tutorial, it is not a webinar, it is not a tutorial. So I'm not going to answer those technical questions. There are a bunch of videos on this channel, so please check that. If you have a cultural question, um, I'm happy to answer those questions. All right, uh, I will move that. Yep. Thank you so much for waiting. I am still doing exactly the same thing. You're taking my Domestica class. Thank you so much. I wonder how many people are here from Domestica. Um, yeah, it has been quite eventful. It has been quite eventful. Not Domestica per se, but... Mm, what is going to be the best way to describe the situation? You may not want to hear this, but I guess I decided to be angry. I guess that's the word for that. Um, I don't like the anger. <laughs> I mean, nobody likes the anger. So, whenever it happens, I try to be decent. I try to suppress my anger, but... If this feeling, if what bugged me, what ate me last three weeks, was some feeling that I can explain, that's probably anger. Not like, you know, that anger I cannot manage, it's more like silent. And I don't know what it is, but I just like to make sure that the Sashiko we practice will be left behind. It does not have to be the mainstream again. It does not have to be, you know, the trend. I just want to make sure that it is somewhat left behind, which it will be. There are many people who practice Sashiko, so I'm not worried about that much but in the process that can be quite you know painful so do you remember the two kind of teaching i explained before like you know like i often like especially on the instagram i often talk about please be careful please pay attention to whom you learn Sashiko from, which means I'm saying, like, please choose the teacher. Like, you know, directly speaking, I'm asking you to choose the teacher. And many people ask me if it is okay to teach Sashiko. Uh, some really worry about that they are, you know, appropriating, uh, they're appropriating the culture and stuff like that. Um, Teaching itself is not really an issue. You can, if you want to teach, go ahead. There's no problem with me. Um, one thing that has to be making sure is that what style or what category of teaching they're offering. And for that context, in this context, I explain two kinds of teaching that I define. 
one is the professional and one is the like a guiding so school teacher like you know elementary school teacher or even high school teacher they are more like the guide they teach and guide the students to find more specific area of course they have probably some field that they are very good at but at the same time they are not really the professional to i don't want to define professional differently but they're not really the whole picture the cultural the mathematic teacher in high school in a high school is not going to solve the um problem that many many professors are facing too so that's the one the guiding and second one is the math professor like you know those who tackle those <laughs> unsolved question as the professions the masters you know those who really master well might be phd but those people who really try to be top of that so this is two kind of teaching right one is the guiding and the one is the professions and the issue i have the struggle i have is this side as long as the person is teaching sashiko as the guide um it's really not a problem in fact i encourage them that'd be great you know be friend with them if they're teaching sashiko as a guide to another sashiko that is a fantastic thing so i'm not really worried about it but if the person is teaching sashiko as the master or you know as if they know everything then they don't i'm sorry but they don't uh, there's no way that they one person can understand whole picture of sashiko so they cannot really advertise themselves as the one stop to learn everything like one stop to learn everything about sashiko is a very false statement like i don't even say that nobody around me say that because it is simply impossible to be the one stop for that they can be the one stop for you know something but that's really created false place so those are the two uh, categories, right? Two categories of teaching that I explained, two or one or two. Oh, sorry. One is guiding and one is profession. Now, profession, like professors. And one, for the guide, guide for the guiding purpose, please, please, I like to, you know, that would be very much helpful. And I hope that more teachers are going to be like that. And I just realized recently that there are actually the third category, which can be quite um, close to the first category. Yet it, it, it can be quite unique for crafting or something to do. So I cannot involve this example in the analogy of school teachers and professional professors um the third category or even like half 1.5 category is the entertainment i think i feel that teaching has become or learning has become entertainment so the in this case customer satisfaction which means the enjoyment from the student is the most important thing so what the teacher teach is not important how they can entertain the students are more important and there's nothing wrong with that teaching style too entertainment i probably do the same thing if um, i was asked to do it that the problem is again if they advertise that entertainment as teaching as the entertainment as the master class then that is the problem and i think many people kind of mixing those guiding 
entertainment and also the professions and i like to be focusing on the professions which i like to do guiding and also entertainment but you know <laughs> i have only one body so those two those three categories we have to be very very careful on what we are doing Uh, teaching as entertainment is like not the teacher's entertainment teaching as the entertainment for the class the student here probably customer so teaching itself is a very hard work but the teacher is expected to make it entertaining and i you know domestic of course is kind of teaching as the entertainment and that's probably the reason I kept saying no to Domestica for more than two years. Um, but they tried to understand what I was trying to do. So that's why the domestic course is kind of half entertainment and half storytelling. Um, but as of now, in the current trend of Sashiko, I don't see many guidance guide teacher as the guide because because i simply don't know <laughs> is there i mean this it does not sell their teaching well if you say it's a guidance so it's understandable but there are many people who think they are not a thing who advertise themselves as the masters as if they're teaching us the you know, professionals masters which they are not but in between that i was kind of confused because there's another category in between it's not like a or b but i was feeling there was something in between and that is the entertainment and that kind of <laughs> ate me from inside It's it's a little too much to mm, what is gonna be a good example that I how I feel about that? Just let me think about it. Uh, let me read that comments. Thank you so much everybody for coming back. Susan, hello. Um, you have not missed anything. I was talking about the three kinds of teaching. Well, before this, I was talking about two kinds of teaching. One is guiding, or one is more like professions. Uh, guide, guidance and profession, professors. And I'm saying that there's another one. The third one is more like the teaching as the student's entertainment. So, hmm, it might be a little bit another extreme, um, very extreme analogy. But uh, in Japan, when you go to Japan, well, let's say when you go to Japan, you will find many, many, many temples, like anywhere. And when you decided to go for a walk, uh, let's say in my town, Takayama, um, you will find many temples. Ah, let me read Leah's comment. If someone is learning for the entertainment value, they cannot be serious about truly learning. They're just going to dip their toe in the waters versus studying. Yes, so it, it, like learning as entertainment is not bad at all. It's one style. Um, the point is like we cannot really mix everything up. We just cannot mix them thing up. Entertainment itself is not... It's not even good or bad, it's just entertainment. I would like to take that. But it does not make them the master. Let's go back to this story about the temple. The motiv Sorry, I would like to read Sharon's comment too. Um, the motivations of the teacher can also be considered to share knowledge, to protect tradition, to exp exercise power to make money 
some are easier to accept than others. Yes, the motivation of the teachers is very, 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 very important to consider. And the problem is, including myself, don't trust myself, don't trust me. They can fake. They can. And it, it is students who has to be very smart on that because they might fake it. There's no way to um, sort of prove that. So let's say that when you were in Japan, there are a lot of temples in where you stay. And if you go to temple, you may see, no, actually not may, you will see the, a lot of grapes, right? A grave is a place where somebody's family is sleeping underneath. So it can be a very sacred place. It's very, you know, personal space. It's very sacred space. Is it okay to visit them? Is it okay to make that grave as the sightseeing destination? Then there's going to be a lot of discussion about this probably, but my personal idea, it is okay. They are trying to learn the Japanese culture, and the grave is one of the culture. That's a good experience in Japan. You might take photos that can be beautiful. You know, that's very much learning the custom as the visitor. So, taking taking photos, you know, visiting the grave itself as the tourist is okay, or even good, because that might be. Um, encouraging the cultural experience. However, if one person who does not even speak Japanese start explaining the stories about those people beneath the graves, or even like their interpretation about the graves and start teaching that to others, then it is a problem, right? Like those, the stories of those people who are underneath of the graves are completely ignored, yet they are kind of claiming the, themselves as the master of something. It can be very, you know, depend on the personal um, relationship distance. For example, um, I consider those, like I took eight people to Japan last, <laughs> two months ago, oh my gosh, two months ago. I consider them like a family, like they're friends, of course they're friends, but um, I wanted, I, without them I wouldn't be, <laughs> I was not brave enough to go back to Japan by myself. So they're like my family. And... That's why I wanted to share some of my, you know, spiritual experience. And for, I wanted, I want them to enjoy that experience as well. As much as they were very respectful, I wanted, you know, to like a memory. If they, <laughs> they will not do that, but if those, you know, friends I took with to Japan, start saying that they know about that culture, the whole picture of that culture, and then start teaching that culture to others, then it's not true. I cannot stop them, but and I don't think they will do it, but it's not true. It's just too much filtering, too much erasing happening. And that's kind of what I feel in Sashiko. Sashiko is not spiritual at all. It can be spiritual, but, you know, I don't sell Sashiko as the spiritual thing. I don't advocate, I, I don't speak about Sashiko for that. Like, I can be more cultic if I want to, but I don't want to. Sashiko can be pretty cultic for that. So... Look, I'm... Mm, I feel some of the people who had 
spend so much time in Sushiko are disrespected, not even disrespected, not acknowledged. That's the problem. Like, it's not about me. It's more like the people who are already under the grave, yet they don't have a, they don't have voice. They don't have a voice. I don't know if they spoke up, even if they had a voice. But they're a lot, lot, lot more than what it is introduced as Sashiko. And ultimately speaking, one has to be able to speak Japanese uh, to, you know, to get too close to that fully understanding. It's always learning, so I, I don't think I can fully understand that neither. But the Japanese skill proficiency is probably the necessary skill. At the same time, it is not realistic to ex ex expect everybody to, you know, be fluent in, in, in Japanese. Therefore, I exist. I can, and I will, share what my understanding is in English. Yet, the trend is really much asking for the entertainment. And I think that is what's bothering me. The entertainment part. Again, like, entertainment is good. Don't get me wrong. Entertainment is good. It's just... Fake advertisement. That's probably what it is. It's not even fake. Mm. Mm. I, I hope it makes sense. <laughs> I, will, I will never be angry at somebody without control because I decided to not to do that. And oh, I probably can promise that I will not pick up somebody's name because it's not my intention to attack somebody. Which I have never done that before. So I will keep doing that. But I decided to be more honest to myself. I am honest about the stories that I'm sharing, but I may have not been honest to myself about my feeling. And that ate me up, and, well, <laughs> the air quality did not help, to be honest. I lost my voice first, that was the beginning, and I have a little bit of asthmatic, uh, asthma, asthma reaction, reaction, and I, I was sick for the first two weeks. I was not well enough to do the live streaming, but in those bed, I kept thinking about that so and domestica course is a great start i made that course as the answer to most frequently asked question where can we start what is the re recommendation and that is the recommendation to start but that's the introductory that's very much introduction for that um in order to be part of the domestica they needed to make it more entertainment, entertaining, which is entertaining. Uh, but I just want to make sure that I differentiate that. Entertainment, uh, teaching as the prof, you know, profession, and also uh, teaching as the guidelines. Whew. As the student, I prefer to learn the history and culture as well as the technique, which I find both in your domestic course. It gives me more meaning to what I'm stitching. Yes, thank you. That was my, that was my point. That was my intention. So I'm really glad that you got it there. Are you suffering bad air quality from the fire? I believe so. I think so. I mean, it's not really every day, but. And the fireworks didn't help too. <laughs> you know, Independence Day. You don't want the rich tradition and history of Sashiko to be reduced to an entertaining economic opportunity for someone outside of the tradition. Yep. Sharon, that is it. It's rich in terms of 
like ordinary. It's nothing is fancy, but because nothing is fancy, it is quite deep or rich. And, you know, English is a very, very convenient and very strategic and very useful language for that. There is a word for that, right? Like, um, there's a word for what I explained for the last 30 minutes. <laughs> I kind of stood learning what I was feeling from the word I received in the comment of the Instagram. It's probably called consumer, consumer, consumer culture. That's what I'm trying to find. Everything is, everything can be entertaining, entertainment to satisfy or make customer happy. We had the bad air because of the fire several years ago. I invested in some good air purifier to help my asthma during the California fire season. Yeah, I got some nice... Uh, excuse me. I got some nice purifier, so... Not fancy, but dense because so many people practice the oil. You got it, Sharon. You got it. It's it's too orderly. Like if it's very really traditional Japanese craft, um, like protected by Japanese government, it's too. It is rich enough, or it's fancy enough to be protected. But Sashiko is more like the culture or practice of many, many, many unknown Japanese people practice, which I don't even know how many or how long. So, it is, I mean, it is impossible to explain what Sashiko is in one word, yet that's what they're looking for. <laughs> I probably did a good job explaining what Sashiko is in Domestica, but that's, again, really introductory. So I hope you can keep coming back to this live streaming so you can get a little bit of sense of what Sashiko really is consumer culture which does not respect the dignity. Okay, so that's the word I have. So many words that I have to learn. Ever since I learned the word cultural appropriation, I have been learning a lot of new word. Like, like many. Which, which I don't think I had it when I was a college student. Was gaslighting there 20 something years ago? Like microaggression? Probably microaggression was there. So many, so many concepts to learn, which is good. I enjoy, not I enjoy, I appreciate them teaching to me, like labeling my feeling is sometimes really helpful. Okay, so this is the Sashiko live streaming. I am back. If you have any other topics you want me to talk about, I will talk about, but it's it's gonna be the same. Have a good night, Stephanie. Thank you. Come back again. Yes, gaslighting was made famous in an old Alfred Hitchcock movie. Ooh, I have to watch that. Gaslighting as a term is new, even though the idea of gaslighting has, of course, been around a while. <laughs> People, thank you. Thank you so much for teaching. Gaslighting has been around for a long, long time. Wow. One of my opinions, the crafting business is a multi-million dollar per year, and lots of teachers try to get a piece of that. Big companies try to promote different crafts, so people will spend money. Yep. 
So that's what's going on with Sashiko. And I'm not trying to fight back. If that's the trend, it is the trend. I just... Hmm... You know, it, it is what it is, and I shouldn't, like, well, should not really fight back. It's just unfair. That's the word I kept, kept, I kept having in my brain. Unfair. If they want to teach the entertainment or crafting as crafting as entertainment, they have to kind of say that. Like, <laughs> crafting, let's say enjoy Sashiko itself is very okay. Or, you know, I wonder what they teach, but you know, it's okay. But you can learn everything about Sashiko here is a very, very false statement, and that is not okay. I would like to learn the whole picture of that. I probably should take those classes on. They might teach me the whole picture. Oh, no. uh, Jay, there, 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 are, there are a lot of phrases for now that describe behaviors that have been around for a while. So, yep, I have to read those. Not, not a read. New word, they are good. Ellen. On true Jude, I was doing some research and there are so many agra 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 ah, agra I cannot say this word many aggregators out there how to make money from your craft. It's part of our culture that anyone can call themselves an expert. Yeah, I, I feel that the same way. At the same time, at the same time, at the same time. Entertainment itself is not really a bad thing. I just want to make sure to label them what they're doing, but entertainment itself is not going to be... I am still... Like, guide, guiding is not a problem. Teaching us the guiding is not a problem. Teaching us the entertainment is probably not a problem. I am still focusing on the teaching us the kind of profession because those who teach Sashiko as the entertainment, they will probably not gonna be here 20 years from now. They chose Sashiko as a part of their like, crafting. They're probably craft person. So I'll be doing exact, I'm sorry to say, I'm doing the exact same Sashiko 20 years from now. I might not get into it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to improve or not, but you know, I'm not really talented in Sashiko, so I don't know if I'm going to improve, but I will be doing exactly the same thing. I don't think they will be doing that. So for that, Sashiko culture will be somewhat protected because they will not continue when the trend is gone. But when one person starts teaching as if that's everything, then when the new students wants to learn something more that more part will be erased because teacher did not even mention the book and that's not okay <laughs> that is unfair and that's what i'm trying to fight back oops Um, Jade, in Western culture, many people have a wide set of interests versus going deep, and that they make they yeah, and they may they mistake a little bit of no no knowledge for true understanding. Um, the next comment from Jade is very correct. It's not bad to have wide set of interest, and my point it is acknowledgement, and also be fair to the not only to the other teachers but the student if the student come to the workshop expecting to know everything that's a little bit of that's a little bit of you know 
that's, that's a false statement. How do you improve on those beautiful small stitches that show kindness, care? No. Mm, I don't know. After all, I hope <laughs> I hope you will get here at some point. But after all, you don't see any improvement. <laughs> it's it's quite sad. It is really 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 sad. It's like my face. At some certain age, you know what it looks like, what it will look like, unless you do the plastic surgery. You know, around 10, 12, 14, 15, and the younger. You know, in the childhood, your face changes a lot. But when you become adult, the, you know, face does not change radically. The unshin becomes like that. It probably changes. But probably, I don't know if it's improving or... it, But it will be the same. Like if I start looking completely different next week, that's probably something that I might have to share, you know, as the emergency. But that, that's the oral way. You don't really improve like this. There's no, there's no magic to make somebody good overnight. Oh, there is actually. I'm sorry, I forgot about it. Learning the posture, the kata, will help that. Ah, Atsushi, when, from Susan, when the Sashiko students want to learn more and go deeper, they will find you. When the study is ready, <sighs> well, yes. That, that, that is very, very, very true. That's the truth. And that's kind of the hope. I think I was living on that Susan's description for the last three years. And I am still, I am still on that. So I don't really fight, right? Like... If you see me fighting, attacking the other teachers directly, that's not what I do. That's not what I want to do. I don't want to do that. Because the, they, what they're teaching is not wrong. It's just not a, enough. So I want the students to know that there's more. So they will come to me, at the, but at the same time, I think domestic calls was a very good trigger to realize that it will be very, very, very long journey and difficult. But like for me and for many friends I have, like going deeper in Sashiko is not that difficult. But for many people, even that few hours are more than enough. Like a few days, few weeks, we're not talking about that much. Few hours. Like I sometimes have the meeting with the media or the other web service. And I strongly ask them, like, like really, really ask them to read some of the Instagram post or like blog, whatever. It does not take more than a few hours, right? Like, you see, I don't, they don't have to read everything, but you know, some of the message I keep saying, I repeat that, so they can kind of come to understand what what I'm trying to do by reading a few articles. They don't. Well, they don't. And they started blaming me as if I'm not answering the question. I am not answering the question because there's no answer. By the way, Domestica is the platform who actually did a lot of study uh, without her, who studied about Sashiko a lot. 
I wouldn't be doing the course with domestic so it was her. Susan, I wasn't ready. I thought I was taking an embroidery class a year ago. Little did I know what I was getting into. That's good to hear, Susan. You're always here. Huh? You are always with us. And then you have you students who end up with getting in deep. Well, <laughs> this is from my Japanese friend or Japanese student who I taught Sashiko to. I, their friend, so I don't, you know, call them student. But <laughs> the Japanese Sashiko friends tell me that I am the person who pushed their back on the cliff. Whenever they want to go into the deeper side of Sashiko, you kind of have to jump off. It kind of is a little bit scary. <laughs> I don't think it's scary, but you know, it requires a little bit of courage. And I'm very good at pushing you back. <laughs> so, if you want to go into the deep, I am here for you. But yeah, I received about, well, not about, more than 10. Um, I think I can say happy complaints, but they made fun of me or made the joke about me pushing their bag that they cannot get out of that anymore well that's that Oof. i cannot believe i used to do the live streaming every week and talking about it more than one hour takes a little bit of time to get back I will you know collect more topics but let me know if you have any other topics you might want to hear that push push there are so many so many people who are good i don't want to say better or worse but i kind of consider them better they're very good at their own sushiko and i'm very happy for that so you know sashiko itself is going to probably be alive because there are so many threads left already the the ramification has made you know, ramifications had you know, being created already. <laughs> Speaking of deeper, on the Patreon site, you have a level of sponsorship that offers a deeper level of learning. Yes, I have to catch up with that. I have to catch up with that. Sorry, I was kind of. I'm. Yeah, I'm sorry. So Patreon, I, I keep writing a lot of stories last, not a, a lot of, but I try to catch up with as much as I can. At the same time, one of the peak, peak from the Patreon is the gathering. So I hope that you can join the gathering. Uh, this month is the last Thursday, I guess where i can be more like i'm trying to be honest right now but i think i'll you know i'll take off all the diplomatic face yeah there are things a lot of things i have to catch up but my my you you know where to find me so I will keep, huh? I will, my word or my bond, is it good English expression? I will keep promise. That's, that's not a same expression. So yeah, the domestic, of course, has been a great experience. But at the same time, 
I don't know how many people here from Domestica without uh, knowing my online class or in-person class. Just, you know, just Domestica. But what I feel as a teacher, I mean, it's a great pl platform, but by l reading everybody's comment, I think, I kind of realize that people want to learn what they want to learn. So it is impossible to anticipate what they learn. Like I, as a teacher, I would like to control what I teach and what they learn. I would like to be responsible for what the student will learn. And that's, again, my word is my bond. Thank you, Chase. Thank you, everybody, for the <laughs> help in English. So, but because that's a very big platform and more like one way of teaching, it is impossible to control what the student learn. So, they take what they want to take out of the course, which is perfectly fine, which is the reason I say that it's the entertainment, because they can take what they want out. But I felt a little bit sad. Mm, let me rephrase that. I... Mm, so, I am there on Domestica and I will answer the question when I receive any questions, right? And I have been answering the question. At some point, I realized that... Not realized. I understood that the question was not asking me my honest reply. So... I knew that my answer would make it more questionable and it's not what they want to hear. And I knew what they wanted to hear. As a result, what I did was to sort of modify, sugarcoat the answer. And then, you know, I couldn't, it's not anger or anything to that person who asked the question because that's you know that the question P question is great that's learning but because i you know I, let's say i have eight thousand students there that's really thankful but if i have to answer the eight thousand people as the way i answer the question to my online class just online class or in-person class I need to split myself into 10. <laughs> I, I cannot do that because that my answer will create another question. They have to at least at some point they have to stitch. So I think in summary, <clears throat> I am and I was, I was and I am and I have been angry to myself for that. And uh, there's no, not, there's no way to get out from there. I have to keep being angry. I have to find the peace, the balance. Because that's what I jumped into. If I did not like that, I should not have done that. But, like, the feeling was very mixed up. And I'm trying to explain... And those last 50 minutes mumbling is toward myself a lot. I am trying to explain to myself. I thought the domestic course was a good introduction to Shiko. I thought they did. Ah, yeah, they did a fantastic job. They did a great job, and I enjoyed that. It is a very good introduction, and <laughs> it's much better feeling, you know. It's more professional for that matter. It's just a different... Well... I'm difficult. 
I wish I could be more easygoing. Like, oh, it's okay, it's just teaching, it's just Sashiko, so you can do whatever you want. Don't worry about anything, you know, you can... That's something I probably should be doing if my purpose is different. And that's probably what the others are asking me to be. But that can destroy the culture. So, well, I really appreciate you being here, <laughs> talking about, listening about my troublesome statement. All right. As always, I will stop at some point. <laughs> I will come back next week as well. Um, I don't think I will need more break, so I will come back on the next Thursday, the same time, 9.30, no, 9.30, 9 o'clock, until probably 10 or so. And since I skipped a lot of stitching too, I have to catch up with that. So I will probably be doing I, I tried to understand, so for that, <laughs> not for that, because I am trying to be honest to myself, I'm trying to understand what is really the demand in today's Sashiko 2. And I will not change what I say, but you may find what I'm saying is a little different. So if you find it like Azui is saying something different, she's saying something different, just, just stay there and then wait for me. I may make a contradiction on purpose. I will be able to explain everything after. My brain is going to stop it so I cannot give you a good example but Hmm, what am I going to say? Hello, hello. Okay. It's thunderstorm. What was I talking about? Um, just a second, I kind of lost it. Entertainment. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the trend wise, the Sashiko trend wise, they really, really want to make Sashiko as the solution for sustainability, like SDGs. It is not. I mean, it can be. It has the result, it has the effect on that. But it's just purely happened to be. Yep, contradicting to myself. So, this is my honest saying. Like, you know, the Sashiko is not about SDGs at all. But I may say that <laughs> Sashiko as the part of SDGs at some point. Which is contradicting, yet I think I can explain that later. Because I'm trying to make the contradiction on purpose. Which is, again, troublesome. I hope it makes sense. I hope it makes sense at some point. It's not gonna be like today or tomorrow. The Sashiko stitches in Japan, do you see them wanting to stay with traditional work or something else? Um, we have to define what is the traditional work, but I think the mainstream is the king, the, you know, dish cloth with the hitomirashi, which I don't practice. And that's the mainstream, and those who you met, those who do, uh, those, the Japanese Sachiko practitioner who the people who came to Japan with me met, they are very much focusing on the running stitch, 
Zashin and well, some people didn't call him Zashin after Zashin, but the Ushin we do. <laughs> Susan is getting very on the point. Because he would ask all to guess your meaning instead of telling us. Oh my gosh. I did not say that. But th that's probably what I. Wow. I don't even have to say that. Yeah, like, you know, I don't know if Kogin is the part of the tradition, but they are, like, my. Among my friends, they try to stick with what they receive, like this kind of sashiko or kogin or hitomezashi. Um, but the current trend is fukin and hitomezashi, like the fukin and hitomezashi on the fukin. Oh, yay. But the, I have not changed, right? I hope I have not changed before and after this three weeks wow yes again susan that's great thank you so much for <laughs> explaining all of the previous live streaming not all but you know main important previous live streaming because yes i as a japanese come from the guest culture and you are ask culture so yes it is quite important to guess first I I forgot about that culture. Like, up, up till now, I didn't even think about the ask culture and guest culture. But yeah, that's that's important. Also, in some Asian countries, things can be both. Yes, Jade. Yes. So the reason I keep saying that it's contradicting yet not contradicting, that does not make sense at all, right? That does not make sense. Like, it does not simply make sense. Contradicting but not contradicting. Which one? Like, what the heck? But it exists. I still don't understand how to explain that, and I cannot even explain how to do that. It is contradicting, at the same time it's not contradicting. This sentence doesn't make sense. <laughs> I had a meeting today and I kind of said that it's the same thing and she was completely confused. And I was so sorry about that. But, you know, if they want to learn about Sashiko, they cannot, I cannot skip that. Well, Sashiko is absolutely and the culture. So you can keep adding and 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 then and then and then. What was it? Some movie? I remember that from movie. And then and then and it's a comedy, so it's not really good. <laughs> oh, but that's really interesting. <laughs> you know better than I do, I guess. <laughs> I think you know better than... Like, I'm the one who does not understand what the heck is going on with me. Yes, it is. It is that. I think we are afraid of guessing wrong. We get laughed at when we mess up. That is true. But in the guest culture, there will not be any moment to see if it's wrong or not. Because everything is based on the guest, so there's no time to reveal the answer. So there's no such a thing as wrong or right, because we all guess. We even guess the answer. Therefore... Your guess is always right. In you. I don't know if it's right universally, but for that, it, it is not even right or wrong. It's because it's yours. 
See, I don't want to jump into the philosophy class one on one. It's just simply what it is. It sounds like a philosophy. I should take philosophy class, I guess. I don't know what philosophy is, though. Well, I don't want to make it philosophical. That's my point. I don't want to particularly, particularly make it philosophical. It's not my intention, but it is how it sounds like. Okay, I will stop in a few minutes, a uh, few lines. So I hope you will have a very sweet night if you're in the US or that area. <laughs> no right or wrong in making my head explode. <laughs> No, there's, there's no one right. No right or wrong. Like, the guessing culture, there are right answer to you, but there's no right answer, universal one. Because it's all based on the guess. So is my sashiko is my sashiko right or wrong is a very difficult question for me to answer because it depends is my answer if I have to answer that question or if you are <laughs> if you took my workshop a few years ago probably I used to answer that question what do you think I question back Right now I don't because that's kind of rude. <laughs> I may do the same thing when we get a little bit closer, when we become friends, like when we understand friendship, then I might ask that question, but there's no such a thing right or wrong in Sashiko. But they are right or wrong in you. <laughs> okay, I will stop for tonight. <laughs> It might be too much for me, for me too. I'm thinking and I'm kind of, my head is exploding. But I really appreciate you for waiting three weeks, almost a month to restart of streaming. I hope, I'm really glad that I can come back. This is the place for me to come back and this is the place for you to come. I want to make this live streaming as the place for us to be together. So, oh, one last comment. Also, U.S. culture is individual, individualist, not collectivist. So we want to distinguish ourselves. I'm right, you're wrong. Yep. So all of those cultural differences are affecting, affecting, influencing the cultural practice. So in order to understand what Sashiko really is, we have to or I want you to understand Sashiko from our side as well. I'm trying to understand how I can be like the US person because I'm an immigrant. I would like to I would I would like to be able to understand from the Western side. So well it's my goal to offer as much as I can in this live streaming from the view of Japanese or Tessin culture or you, you name it. All right, I hope you have a good night tonight, and I will see you next Thursday. Thank you so much for watching.